who's been God's counselor? There's a dear brother named St. Catherine's named Jack Trotter. Uh, the first time Jack Trotter showed up at the meeting, he had on a zoot suit. You know what a zoot suit was? He had the pants up to here, and he had a, he had a, a watch with a watch fob and, and a, a big long cigarette holder, you know. But I'll tell you, when Jack got saved, he never got over it. And when I preach the gospel there, I'll see Jack coming about ten steps from me, and he's shaking his head like this, and he puts out his hand and shakes mine, and he says, Oh, Jabe, how did we ever get in? How did we ever get in? To think of it. This is the theme, isn't it, of the Apostle Paul as he comes to the end of Romans chapter 11, and he stands back in utter amazement, and he says, Oh, where did God ever get these wonderful ideas from? Who's been God's counselor? Who ever would have thought of such a thing? I never would have thought of it, would you? Would you ever suggest to God that his son be the bread from heaven? Why not come down to this planet if you can see it? This little speck off in the corner of God's universe? Seen a picture of our Milky Way? And, and they have a little arrow drawn to a speck and they say, see that speck there? That's your solar system. And inside that little speck, it's just in a little whisk off on the edge of the Milky Way. We're not even in the middle of the Milky Way. And, and there's this average sun, about a million and a quarter times bigger than the Earth, and then there's that little tiny blue speck, that pale speck of blue in that sea of black. And there on that little speck, there are five billion other specks, and you're one of them. And God loved you. And God thought he'd lost something when you went away from him. Can you imagine a zillionaire looking for a penny? Can you imagine that? That he would have such concern over a little penny? But here's the God of the universe. And he came seeking and saving those that were lost. Imagine suggesting to God that he should come from heaven down to this little planet. And say, Lord, and, and besides that, what we'd like is we'd like you to come as a baby. Not in your almighty power like at Sinai, when the planet hardly stood the shock of your arrival. The whole place shook. No, no, a little baby. And... Would it be all right if you were born in a barn, laid in a feeding trough, live in poverty, let people take advantage of you? You feed the multitudes, and then when they're all suffice, they go home. No one bothers to ask you home to stay overnight. You clean up the mess afterwards, and then sleep on the hillside. Would it be all right if you lived in the, in the most pathetic town in all of Israel, and then be rejected by that very town, the town that was rejected by everyone else? Would it be all right if, if we took you and fat in your face, buffeted you, made your back like a plowed field, and, and then spiked you to a, a tree, and, and then, Lord, do you think maybe while you were hanging there on the tree, don't just forgive us for Calvary, but, but use it as the basis of redeeming us, save us from all our sins, don't, don't just take us to zero, though. Don't just pay off the debt. Take us infinitely beyond on the credit side of the ledger. Make us heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Give us everything you've got. Open heaven to us. Rise from the dead. So you, why don't you go back and, and redecorate heaven so we'll feel at home there. Make it our house so we can just move right in. And, would it be all right if you sort of moved over a bit on the throne there and let us sit on the throne with you and rule the universe? Whoever would have thought of it. God thought of it. 